Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I'm going to take you into Google Docs, and we are going to make a sweet brochure in just a few simple steps. So, my friends, let's get cracking. So, my friends, the first step with our brochure is going to be to start a blank one. When you get the blank one, let's title our document with the name brochure and our partners. Speaking of partners, make sure you hit that share button and share it with your partner so that you can both edit it. Make sure you choose editing. I want to start our brochures with a page setup. I want it to have margins of 0.5. So change all of those to 0.5. And then I want you to pick a cool color for the background because we are just going to be looking at these. We are not going to be printing them. Pick anything from these light colored rows. Pick the one that you like. Hit OK, and then let's add a title. Each one of you is going to be doing one about an engineer. I'm going to do a plastics engineer. With your title in place, friends, make sure you select it and change it to a title. And then also pick a font that you think is awesome and a color that's going to be awesome in your scheme as well. Our brochure is going to need a cool picture, so we're going to start with that. We're going to choose insert image and you need to find an image either that you upload after downloading or use the cool search the web trick. Since I'm doing mine on a plastics engineer, I'm going to find something that they could work like a bottle or a bottle of water. And when it shows up, I can click that image and it lets me insert it super simple. To make it fit my project, I need to choose wrap text. And that lets me push it to one side so that I can start building my brochure and putting my facts to the left. I'm going to press enter on the plastics engineer. I'm going to move this up so it lines up and I'm going to make sure I'm in normal text mode. And this is where you'd start typing, typing some facts about an engineer. The information that you need to cover needs to follow this little list. You need to fill in what type of work people do, what the current salary is, what the working conditions are inside or outside the lab, what are the major job responsibilities, how is the demand for this job in the future, and what kind of education is needed for this type of work. You also need to provide a picture of an engineer working in the field. The rubric for this project is going to demand that you fit it all on one page. You have at least two pictures and you've taken care of all the bulleted list. Alrighty friends, so to find all those answers you may use Google and you may also use Google to find your second image. Remember you want an image of them at work. When you do find the image you want, you can right click and save the image as. You could also copy the image address and then also you can use the sweet snipping tool to and grab the part that you want and then bring it into your project by saving it to your downloads folder. I'm gonna name mine I am for image. And then when you're done, you can return to your brochure. And to add that image, I'm gonna press enter and move down a couple chunks and choose insert image. And I'm going to upload that from the computer. I need to go to my downloads folder where I put it. There's my capture I am. And when I hit okay, it shows up. When you bring your image in, you can shrink it to whatever size you need. You can also do wrap text. You can pick the margin, and remember I want this one to be on the left side of your project. So as you add the cool words, it flows around the different shapes. You can also right click and crop your image. If there was a piece that you didn't want, you can shrink it down. When you click outside, then it looks exactly as you like. As you move through your project, also use the cool headings so you can switch to the different topic. For instance, if you were talking about salary, you could do a salary chunk and then put the normal text underneath it so it breaks up your brochure and makes it look just a little bit more spiffy. When you've completed your whole project, make sure you double check with your neighbors, zoom to the size that it all fits, and use that cool snipping tool to take a new snip that shows your whole project and then turn it into me in Google Classroom. Alrighty, friends, so if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.